Welcome back to Powerful Expansion 777. It's your girl, Vanessa. And in today's video, we're looking at who's coming next in love, what's new happening in love for you. Um, I would say this is for my singles, and this could also be for those of you who are in relationships, depending on how you landed on this video, okay? Um, if you landed here, I feel like it's meant for you to come in and see what's going on, all right? So let's look at what's new in love, all right? Um, we have three pals here. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot about um, the products today because I'm about to make a separate video. If you're interested in any of my oils for um, my oils with intention to manifest the things that you want. If you are interested in my candles, I have a new candle available right now. Um, and these lovers candles are available. If you're interested in any of that, I'm going to post a separate video right after this video. So either go to the channel and watch the video or click the link below in the comment section and go watch the video. And I'll be explaining to y'all what each of these items are for. Now, if you go on the Etsy shop, the description for the products is always under the products, all right? The description of what they're for and, you know, um, details is always under there and you can always message me on Etsy. Um, that's the fastest way to get in contact with me if you're purchasing one of these products, all right? But I will make a separate video. It's going to be short and sweet to the point about each of the items that we have available right now. Um, and I'll be talking to you about that if you're interested in purchasing any of my oils. They work, all right? They're spelled by me. They are enchanted by me, all right? Um, so as well as the candles, especially this one and it's for protection, all right? So if you're looking for that for your arts or anything like that I do have the protection candle now all right so let's jump into this reading all right what's next coming in love we got pile number one if you're choosing this one here with the roses in it that's pile number one we have this candle here it's blue serene um and then we have the 24 Midas touch with the gold so what's in the um, money inside of it so pick one of these items or pick one of these piles. We got pile number one, two, and three. Once you pick your pile, you can either um, pause the video if you need to, to pick it. Give yourself a few minutes to trust your intuition and go with the flow. And tell me, you know, tell yourself which pile you want to go with. I'm going to write the time stamps in the comment section and in the description box. They're always under the video. If you don't see it, you just need to click read more. All right, y'all? All right, so let's get into the reading. We're going to start with pal number one, all right? So pal number one, if you chose the Lover's Enchantment Oil, we're going to be looking at, um, you know, what's next in love for you. All right, what's next in love? Just taking a sip of my water. All right, so um, while I'm getting these cards here, this is my first time looking at them just like y'all, but while I'm getting them out, write down in the comments how y'all are doing. You know, I want to check on y'all. Um, y'all continue to show up. I'm thankful for that for you guys that watch this channel. Um, write in the comments what state you're watching this from or what country you're watching this from, all right? I want to know where y'all are at. All right, so let's see. Who's coming into your life? What's, what's happening next with love with y'all? All right, we got the hearts of sky. We got the crow. We got the wind. And I'm going to leave them just how they're coming out. If they're coming out upside down. Um, we got the witches, wounds, hidden familiars, Oops. voodoo, roots. All right, we got a few more cards here. Um, drawing down the sun. Let me move these up. Drawing down the sun. The Knight of Wands. All right. We got a couple more cards. All right. Um, and then these are just some uh, Zodiac Oracles that could tell me a little bit more about what's about to be happening, who's coming into your life. All right. Hmm. So for this pile, what's happening next in love for you? I think that there has been something that's been hidden from you or there's something that has been in the dark from you. All right, pile number one. 
So some truth is coming to the surface. There's been some light shine up on something, especially with, um, by the time I probably upload this video, it's going to be a full moon. I'm looking at this full moon right here behind the crow. I'm looking at this full moon. There's been some light shed on something that's been hidden or like away from the public when it comes to love for you. All right. For some of y'all, I feel like y'all have been closing off your heart from love or closing off yourself from love. Yes, that's the energy I'm picking up on here. Um, with this particular pile, you either have been like very disconnected from relationships. Your heart space may be wounded or just like you are someone who may have went through a lot of stuff in your past and you feel like it just, it kind of broke you or just made your heart feel some type of way. Um, the energy I'm getting here is I feel like you've been living in survival when it comes to your heart space um, for some time. Survival mode. There is someone coming into your life. All right, pile number one. This person is going to be very um, masculine with the sun and the emperor here. This is someone who's very serious. They're someone who um, thinks things through before they make a decision is the energy that I'm getting here. They're very fair and very just. They don't like to um, jump in and out of relationships is the energy that I'm getting here. This person is coming towards you and they are feeling very passionate about you, pal, number one. The person that's coming towards you. Um, so they have may have had a past when it comes to love as well. All right. Um, I think there's going to be more balance in your life with relationships when this person comes in. There's an energy here of some nervousness. Um, someone not feeling so sure about relationships, maybe not knowing what direction to go in. I, but I feel like this is more so of the person who's watching this video. If you're watching this video, there's like a lot of unsurety about relationships and trying to discern people when you meet new people, all right? And what I'm getting here is that this next person that's coming into your life is coming in to help you um, free yourself, to open your heart back up, all right? in their part of your uh your journey here is what i'm hearing um this person is here to support you this is like part of, and even if they're not like intentionally knowing that they're doing this they're sent or they're putting your life to help support your growth your healing process and bringing your heart space back to balance is the energy that i'm getting here when i'm looking at these cards um this person is very divine and masculine so i feel like most of y'all who are watching this i could be wrong I'm not going to say I could be wrong, but I could be, you know, mostly the most of y'all who are watching this are women. And I'm going off of my um, analytics that I look at and I see the amount of women that's watching this video. So if you are male and you're here, then please do not, you know, take that the wrong way. But pile number one, the person who's coming into your life is very bright. Whether this is male or female. This person is very bright. They're shining some type of light on something. There's something that's been hidden or something that you have not been um, um, acknowledging about your heart, about relationships, about how you allow people in or how you feel or how you handle love is the energy that I'm getting here. And this person that's coming in is bringing some truth. They're helping you to bring truth to the surface, all right? And this is going to feel like a really big accomplishment for you, pal, number one, because I feel like this is going to be a stable relationship that's coming towards you. Someone who's able to fight for this relationship. Um, Someone who's willing to fight for this. Because I feel like whoever you are, you may have had people who either walked in and out of your life, continuously hurt you and things like that. So this person who's coming in now, they're stable, they're secure, they're wanting to build something that's going to last with you. This person who's coming in, if this if you're a woman who's watching this, this person that's coming in, they're sec they're big on security. They're big on stability and um making sure that the foundation is strong as the energy that I'm getting here. This person may not be in their feelings as much as you or in their emotions as much as you once the relationship starts but they are someone who really cares about taking care of their family and doing the right thing. Now, if you are men or if you're a male that's watching this video, the person that you're here watching this about, this woman or whoever it is, they're very, very just, they're very fair. They want to do the right thing. They're big on morality. That is what I'm hearing. This person wants to be fair. This person wants to be balanced. So they are really considering all, um, all decisions before they move forward with you. They don't want to hurt you is the energy that I'm getting here. But there is like a lot of nervousness. I'm getting like a lot of nervousness or unsurety. So there's a lot of thinking taking place with pile number one. All right. Y'all who are watching this video, you are towards 
um, most likely Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, some of you may be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Your person is Aries, um, Libra, or they could be fire signs as well, sun, moon, or rising. Um, for some y'all, I'm getting a big energy of this is a Leo person, all right? This is an Aries person. That's the energy in a Libra. That's the energy I'm really picking up on. But you, this relationship is about to push you into some type of freedom, all right? This relationship is pushing you into some type of freedom. Um, let me see what else. That is all I'm seeing so far for this particular pile. This relationship is like freeing you, I feel like, because you're used to a certain way of love or a certain way of going about relationships and it's starting to lighten. There's something changing about, um, something changing about how you're going to see relationships and people that you're dating. This person is more serious than the people that you've been used to. There's something also about religious or something like that. They're very serious is what I'm hearing. This person is very serious or very grounded in their beliefs and they want, um, they see something with you. So this will feel like a big accomplishment or a big achievement for you. This feel, will feel like, like something that you've worked for or you fought for for a long time and you really want it with others, but it just never came into place. So you've shut yourself off. But this person is bringing the happy, the joyful, um, the maybe youthful side of you back out because you're realizing that, you know, there's something about dreams do come true or you, you being able to get something that you really, really um, always wanted. And they, I'm just keep on hearing there's a fight here for um, an achievement in this relationship for something long term. All right. And something that's fruitful. So that's it for power number one. I feel like there's someone's coming into your life that's about to change the dynamics of how you view love and also help you to heal your heart space. And they may not know they're intentionally doing this, but it's just that you two together is going to end up making this happen for you. All right. So that's it for power number one. If you like what you heard today, please like share subscribe to the uh to the channel leave a um i was gonna say leave a comment <laughs> leave a comment in the comment section if you want a personal reading my information is below i i will do all types of readings um even if you don't see something in my etsy shop you can ask me in the messenger on etsy and i'll let you know what you know i have available but for general readings i do have an option for that as well if you just want a general reading um i have the phone calls right now i am taking and I'm also doing um, general readings for recorded video and audio. So go check that out and see what works for you. All right, y'all? And if this is your first time here, thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. All right, pile number two. We have the candle, the protective candle. So let's see, who is, for my power number twos, who is um, coming towards you next in love or what's happening next in love? You chose this candle, so that tells me something. This is the protective candle, the blue candle. So we're gonna look at that. If you want this candle, it's available right now. It's good for putting on your altar or just in your space where you have any type of spiritual work or any other candles. It's for protecting yourself and whatever else you um, wish to protect. All right, that is made by me. Give me a second. Um, so, who's coming into your life? Who's coming into your life? Pile number two. Okay, 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 okay. I think I like this pile so far. Pile number two, who's coming into your life? What's happening next with love? Let's find out. This is my first time looking at the cards just like y'all. I think, oh, this is going to be a power couple. This is actually upside down, so I'm going to leave it like that. This is actually going to be a power couple. Who's coming into your life? Pile number two. Um, we got sacrifice, the vision quest. 
Okay, the person that's coming into your life or what's happening next in love for you, pile number two, is you are building with someone. This person can either be Capricorn, Leo, Virgo is what I'm getting, Pisces. Um, it could be one of these signs, sun, moon, or rising, but this is someone you're going to either go into business with or y'all are going to build some type of legacy together, some type of future together. I'm getting a lot of um, abundance or riches or I'm just, I'm even hearing coins falling, like golden coins. There's something about you and this person coming together and I feel like it's guided by your ancestors, all right? It's guided by... Um, your family. There's something about family that's being big between you and this person. I feel like y'all connection is going to be very powerful and forceful. Um, people will see you like this when y'all are together. You and this person are very strong in your own areas. If you're a woman watching this, you're, you're probably either Leo or um, Virgo is what I'm getting here. Vic Leo energy, um, Sagittarius or Aries, but very strong Leo. I think that you are very creative, whoever you are watching this, right? You have some type of creative spark. You have these ideas, all right? You have, I'm getting someone who's working on a lot, like they're, you're creating, whether it be music, art, um, what else? Writers, I'm hearing, we got some writers here. There's something about you using your creative, ideas and things like that right now and then there's someone who is more practical someone who knows how to handle the finances and who knows how to save or build and this person is coming along and you guys are taking what you both know so one may know um something about investments and the other person may be very creative it could be online you know something there's something about y'all being opposite and bringing y'all gifts together and building something building a new vision. I'm hearing, seeing a new vision, um, going on a vision quest. And with whoever you are watching this, I feel like some of y'all may have to give up something in order for this vision to take place. Like there may be something that you're working on or something that you're doing, and you're going to have to make a sacrifice and let that go in order to start something new with this person or build something new with this person. All right. Um, but this has to do with you being receptive and allowing new things to come into your life and just going with the flow um, because I get that wh whoever this is is coming towards you or whoever it is that you're watching this about, you're um, seeing this connection from a different perspective. I'm hearing it's about wealth building. It's about legacy building. And you and this person are gifted in two different areas. Um, and you and this person both have a real or regal vibe about y'all and y'all are meant to work together. You and this person is meant to work together. You're meant to build something together, all right? And you're meant to, this relationship is going to upgrade y'all status is what I'm hearing. So wherever you're at right now, there's gonna be upgrade coming with this person. This connection is protected. So that may be why you um chose the second vow with the protective candle, all right? Um, so go get y'all candle, y'all. But for when I'm looking at these cards here, I'm just getting like a very strong, rooted, grounded, stable, powerful couple um, that's building family, all right? That's that's transforming their their uh their generations, their family, their legacy. Um, that's stepping into their higher self, that's stepping into something more. But there's also something about something being hidden. So you may be hiding or you, you may have to hide parts of you or may have to put parts of you um, aside in order to step into this connection, in order to step into this position that you and this person is going to be in, all right? Um, Just getting a strong vibe. There is something about creativity happening here, though, because I got these three cards left for y'all that I couldn't fit on the table at first. Um, and it says the second house, the fifth house, the moon. So you and this person is going to be creating something together. But I do feel like there's going to be some type of hidden aspect about this connection. There's something about um, the feelings or the sensitivity. Yeah, feelings. There's something about feelings. So for a minute, maybe this may start off as work if this is someone new in your life. You may start off working with this person and it may move into something else. You guys may move into a relationship 
or there's just like a lot of exchanging of feelings for each other conversations about you know the things that make you happy you and this person may have a child together pile number two for some of y'all you and this person is either going to have a baby together or y'all going to end up creating something and putting a lot of effort and a lot of work into it and it will bring you a return all right this is something that's going to be valuable to the both of y'all um Hmm. Power number two. So I'm also get I'm also getting that I'm hearing slow build or like a slow grind. So there's something about being patient, all right? Because something is in the works for you right now when it comes to this person. Like there's something that's slowly growing, or this person is planting the seed. There's seeds being planted that's going to end up growing, or that's going to be end up being like you guys is foundation for this connection and it has to do with um building all right i also get that whoever this person is is coming towards y'all number two this person is very big on um, creating something for their family taking care of their family this is the type of person who likes to take care of their family they're a caregiver so this could be a cancer all right this is someone who wants to you know provide for their family protect their family be there for their family and they may even come off a little controlling or possessive at times is the energy that i'm getting but this is someone who really wants to take care of you um they see you and your power and you shining and they think that you deserve the best is what i'm getting here when i look at this empress in the wands and the pen um the king of pentacles so this person may be someone who has a lot going on for themselves they're very hard working or there's someone who's smart working and they just have like a lot of valuable um things but they want to share this with you all right and they want to multiply this with you so even though y'all pick this pal i would say go check out my 24 karat midas touch oil i don't have any more the candles left um they're sold out but the oil is good for um manifesting wealth abundance new opportunities and things like that i would say put them on your pressure points on your body um i put i will put it on daily that's what i do and that's just to help you bring in more abundance, more wealth and opportunities, like I said. Um, the So for this pile, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. This is someone you're going to have to, you're going to have to leave something behind, though, is the energy that I'm getting. You're going to have to let something go in order to step into this next stage with this person. All right. Um, depending on what that is, it will be different for different people. But take that how that resonates. This is short, sweet, straight to the point, y'all. If you want a private reading or anything like that, my information is below. It's always below the videos in the comment and in the description section. All right. Um, if you want any of my products, I will be making a video about them next. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. I hope you're having an amazing week. Bye-bye. We're going to go over to pile number three. All right, pile number three. I'm about to take a sip of my water and we're going to get into pile number three, y'all. So this is for pile number three, y'all. If you chose the Midas Touch 24 karat oil, then we're going to be seeing who's coming towards you in love. Um, if you want that product, if you want this, it's available in my shop right now, my Etsy shop. The link is below. Um, it's good for manifesting money, abundance, security, and when it comes to your finances and physical things. If you're working on building something, it's meant to help that thing flourish. These are all worked by me, and they do work, y'all. So let's get into this. Um, all the energy that's put into them is from me, and they really work. So, pile number three, who's coming into y'all life, all right? I want to know. We got, what's happening with love for y'all? We got the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Three of Wands. Who's coming into y'all life? Or what's happening next? I'll say what's happening next in love because I think that with this particular group, there's something about y'all independence and y'all freedom is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. 
Did I fit more cards for y'all? Because it seems like I can't, I cannot fit everything on the table right now. Let's see. Who's coming into y'all life? Pile number three. Okay. Hmm. I think someone's unexpectedly coming into y'all life. Pile number three. Um, and it's teaching you a strong lesson about yourself. There's something about a karmic person coming towards you. Or if this is someone you've already met. This is someone maybe from a past life connection. This is someone who you've either known before, you've either been with before. But I'm getting really strong past life connection. And I'm also getting that this is a spiritual connection. Um, this person could be Gemini, Libra, or... Aquarius, all right? This person is very, very in their mind. So this is a person who thinks about a lot of things. They think things through before they speak, before they make decisions, all right? They're a big on thinking. And I also get here that this person is like big on finding out things. So they like to find out information or they like to like um, do research on things. But I'm getting that this person is someone who's maybe um, they're financially stable or secure, all right, in themselves, this is someone who sees you um, as a partner. So they may not show this, a long-term partner is what I'm getting. They may not show this up front if this is someone new. They see you as a long-term partner, but this is the biggest thing. There's something about the, um, the freedom in this connection, I'm hearing. The freedom, the freedom. So who is this person? We actually have some more cards here that I didn't finish putting up here. I just started talking and got ahead of myself. We got the Astro Travels. Yeah, this is a spiritual connection, the person that's coming into y'all life next. We got Belladonna Visions. Hmm. We got Divine Feminine. I'm going to put those cards on the table in a minute, but I'm just trying to make room for them. And we got Earth Mother. So I feel like with all four of these cards, these cards are... This is someone who's either teaching you something, all right? Because remember, this is a karmic person or this is a person who's a part of your spiritual journey for my pile number threes. This person is teaching you something about setting boundaries for yourself. Um, this person is teaching you lessons that is the energy that I'm getting. And they may not know that they're teaching you this or they might not be like fully aware in the present. But there's something about helping you to channel your divine feminine. This connection is very important is what I'm getting because it's helping to push you into your independence and making you more self-reliant is what I'm hearing. Um, this person is helping you to become stronger, all right, and more resilient is what I'm hearing for, to bounce back maybe from heartbreaks and relationships or just like different things that happen in relationships. They're helping you to become more focused. And that doesn't always have to be the same way. Like, it, it doesn't have to go about the same way. But this her person is helping you with something. I'm also getting that there's something about caution or being cautious. So, just a second. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. Just a second. My phone keeps on making little the noises with these notifications. Okay, so there's something about, um, this is kind of like almost a test for you to judge correctly in relationships for making like, for using your discernment or clear judgment with relationships. So for everyone, it could be different because remember, this is a collective reading. But what I'm getting here is there's something about this connection that you're supposed to be realizing. But rather it be sharpening your psychic um, abilities if you're someone watching this and you're, you know you're psychic or just sharpening like how you, what are you paying attention to in relationships and things like that. There's something about a lesson being learned here and it's making you stronger and it's making you sharper. Um, it's making your mind more quicker to pick up on things with this connection, all right? Um, maybe even in this connection, it's going to force you to strengthen your spiritual connection or your spiritual practices so that you are guided, all right? I'm hearing that the third eye is very important in this connection. So you using your um, your third eye sight is important, all right? Um, something about secrets in this connection. Hmm. 
this connection is teaching you something about yourself. It's teaching you about your ability to maybe even be in unconventional relationships or have more freedom or to move how you want to move. I feel like you're learning more about yourself. Like you may have thought you wanted a certain type of relationship is what I'm getting with this pile. And this connection is teaching that. Whoever's coming into your life next, remember I said, I feel like this is Aquarius, Gemini, or uh, Libra, or it could also be Capricorn. Um, but big air sign energy, this person is teaching you something about yourself, all right? And like I said, they may not fully know this. It could just be the, the things that they're portraying in a relationship or how they're treating you, but it's pushing you into some type of independence. It's pushing you into more freedom, um, maybe to even travel for some of y'all. It could be your, um, like you want to travel and meeting this person is helping you to realize that you can be more freer. You don't have to be tied down or you don't have to stay in one place. Or you don't, there's something about a relationship being very unconventional, but also realizing that you're very different and you don't have like a set, like you're not set on one way of being in a relationship. Also, for some of you, this person may have a lot going on or this relationship may feel like so much of a burden that it causes you to just feel overwhelmed and you walk away and that pushes you into some type of freedom, all right? That pushes you into some type of place of... um you being like, you know what? I think I want to explore a little bit more before I even settle down and get into something serious. So I want to see something. Let's see. Yeah, this, oh, baby. So y'all song for this um, particular pile, I feel like I'm going to give y'all a song here, but this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting. This relationship may remind you of a past relationship, all right? There's something very familiar about this person um, or there's something very familiar between the two of you, maybe a psychic connection and or an empath connection, all right? That type of relationship. But I'm getting that you can really feel with this person. You may be able to feel what this person is feeling. You're able to discern what this person is feeling and things like that, what their true motives and intentions is, and this is helping you to slow down, all right? It's helping you to slow down. Um, listen to the song, For Real, by Amel. I don't know how to say her last name, um, but it's L-A-R-R-I-E-U-X. The album is called Brave Bird. Her first name is spelled A-M-E-L. Um, let me see if I can pull it up on my phone. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. All right. So that's the name of the song right there. Make sure you go check that out um, if you're here watching number three. Because there's something about you being able to feel. There's a strong psychic energy coming up here. And also the ability to come out of oneself. So almost like the energy. Because we even got the astral travel card. There's something about freeing yourself. Or freeing yourself from the limits that you've set in relationships. Realizing that. Um, they're more than just the physical and it's deeper than that. All right. So that's it for y'all pile number three. I'm going to keep it short y'all. I am going to keep it short with this particular reading. If you want a deeper reading or you want something more specific to your own situation, my information is always below the videos right in the comment section. That's how you contact me by Etsy shop. If you, for any reason, can't use Etsy shop, go follow me at Powerful Expansion 777 on Instagram. You can email me at Powerful777 at gmail.com. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to drop a video right after this video saying um, how to use my products and what products I have available in the Etsy shop right now. Please go check that out if you're interested in anything. I'm making everything affordable right now. Now, my readings are on sale right now, and I don't know how long they will be because I will be taking a break from doing readings um, very soon. So make sure you go get your private reading request put in right now as soon as possible um, because I will be taking a break this summer, all right? So I appreciate all of y'all. Thank you so much for choosing Powerful Expansion 777, and I hope that you have an amazing week, so my love. Bye-bye.